Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can recognize and represent fractions on a number line, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's just start with a basic number line here. Our number line is going to be between 0 and 1. Now typically you would think, well there are not any numbers between 0 and 1, and that's if you're counting the whole numbers. But if we're going to include fractions, there are pieces that are smaller than 1. So the most basic fraction that we'll find here is going to be 1 half. Now 1 half, and I'll go ahead and write it in words as well, 1 half is halfway between 0 and 1. If I wanted to draw it like a picture, I would draw a circle, cut it in half, and shade in one part. Now how do I know that this is 1 half? Well remember that this bottom number right here, this is called the denominator, and the denominator shows how many pieces your fraction is cut into. So since my fraction runs from 0 to 1, I've got a tick mark right here splitting it in half. You see that I've got one piece, I circle that, and I've got two pieces right here. So those are my two pieces. And so that's my denominator right here. And the numerator is going to show you how many of those pieces are being represented. So this tick mark right here, if you're moving from right to left like we do when we're looking at a number line, it comes after the first piece. So it is the first tick mark because it comes after the first piece. That's why we're going to say one. So one half. That's how you could rec represent this on a number line. If you wanted to, you could also represent zero and one as halves. Let me show you what that would look like here. So this is one half. You could say the zero is zero halves because if I took a circle, cut it in half, and didn't shade any part of it, that would be zero halves. And then you could say this one is going to be, watch what happens when I shade in both halves. That's the whole thing. So two halves is the same as one because if you cut a circle in into two, and then shade both of them in, you're going to get one. So you can say there's zero halves, one half, two halves. So let's say we wanted to add another number line, but we wanted to cut it up into a different amount of parts. There's my zero, there's my one, and I'm going to add two tick marks here. Let's see if we can figure out what each of these fractions are. First, remember we need our denominator. We need to look at how many total pieces there are. One, two, three. So I have got three pieces. And so this first tick mark comes after the end, if you're moving from left to right, at the end of the first. So this is going to be one third. And I'll write that right here, one third. And then if I move again, I've got a second tick mark, and that is going to be at two thirds. First tick mark, second tick mark. So one third and two thirds is what it looks like. And if we wanted to, we could do the same thing. We could change our zero into zero thirds. And then we could, if we wanted to, we can make our one look slightly different. We could make it look like a three thirds. So this zero thirds right here is going to look like just a circle cut into thirds with nothing shaded in. One thirds is going to look like a circle cut into thirds with one shaded in. Two thirds is going to look like this one, two. And then our last one is going to look like three thirds. The whole thing is going to be shaded in because three thirds is equal to one whole. Now it's time for you to try. Using what you know of how to identify fractions on a number line, Take a moment, pause the video, and see if you can identify or name the points that go with A on the top, B on the bottom, and then C and D over on the right. When you're done, unpause the video, we'll check your work. The top number line is broken up into four parts, and this A is on the third one over, so A equals three fourths. The bottom one is broken up into six parts, and this B is on the fourth tick, so B equals four sixths. And this final one has two spots, it's broken up into eight pieces, and C is on the third one, and D is on the seventh one, so three-eighths and seven-eighths. 